Good morning, everybody. It is June the 7th, 2016. Time to kick off another trading day. Uh, Yellen drove the equity markets around the globe. Every stock bourse in the world is up. The emerging market index is higher. Uh, great time to be buying stocks. Um, they tend to overlook uh, the fact that um, the reason she's not raising interest rates is that the economy <coughs> uh, is pretty fragile and looks to be contracting. So no interest rate increase in June for sure, probably not July. Uh, the analysts are talking about one interest rate increase this year uh, in September or December. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm going to take a much, much stronger economic numbers than we're seeing right now. Uh, so equities are up, but the E-mini is selling right now. Uh, we hit the high area that could have been, could have held 15 to 17. We have a high of 16 and a quarter. <clears throat> we're currently trading, I think, uh, 21.13. So down to where the equity is rallying. And the three-year auction. And I think the three-year auction will bring buyers in at some point. And right now the market's playing like it. So uh, today's news is pretty limited. Non-farm productivity minus 0.6. Unit labor costs plus 4.1. That's really hard to believe from a hiring standpoint. From a start the start of a recession it's not at the start of a recession companies are reluctant to lay off it costs a lot of money to train these people they delay layoffs until the last minute and their unit labor costs go up and their productivity goes down investors business daily uh, and TIPP business economic Optimism index, 49.1, less than 50%. So really not a lot of news to uh, drive our trading today down to the dynamics of the three-year auction. Now, <clears throat> because they can't move the paper uh, without fluctuating prices, uh, the markets don't go straight up without a major piece of news. <clears throat> we don't have that piece of news. Uh, Yellen's uh, comments yesterday were actually supportive for financials. They're not going to raise interest rates anymore or at least in the foreseeable future. Interest rates are pretty low. Uh, Fed funds at a half a percent. And all those prices are built on the market, so trading range is what we'll settle into in the financials. So first sells, 27 to 31. would like to get that done closer to 31. Second sell would be 3 to 7. And again, you say, oh great, Charlie, new highs, and I'm supposed to sell into that. Um, the <coughs> Dynamics in financials are you sell into strength, you buy into weakness, and the fact that they can't take prices straight up and move the paper. So leaning against 131 is the most obvious trade that we have right there. Uh, so a structural sell would be 31 to 1.5 right in this area. So we'll see if that happens. On the buy side, uh, we have a B from yesterday. We've got all this volume down here. Then we've got volume basically at 16. So 17 to 21, buy 1. And then buy 2 will be 9 to 13. Okay, looking at the ZB, our 30-year. And there's your London split. So we're buy we have buyers at 24. And the last rotate up yesterday in L period was 08. Then in I period was 16. So 8 to 16 is resistance. Well, 4 to 8 will be 1. 11 to 15, sell 1. 19 to 23, sell 2. On the uh, buy side, um, going to have pretty good support. 24 to 28. So 17 to 21, buy 1. And 9 to 13, buy 2. 
have the buys a little closer together than the sells because of the three-year auction. Okay, gold was off a little bit when I looked this morning. At least it was when I looked this morning. And our magic 1250, a round number, is held for the second time. Uh, so 4547. Make it 4446. Lean against 45. Sell one. 49.51 sell two. Got volume down here in the 33, 35 area right here. We've got it. Obviously, we got to bust 40 to get that. So we'll start off with 35 to 37 by one, and then 30 to 32 by two, and we'll put a question mark at 40. I think we're going to head a little bit lower, especially if we get some strength in the stock market. We'll see if that happens. Okay, euro's off a little bit overnight. Not a lot of news out of Europe. Uh, the European revised GDP beat the estimate by a hair, not by much. That was it for Europe. Probably the biggest thing going is uh, the rally in the equity market. Uh, we liked the uh, sell at 90 to uh, 114. Yesterday's high was... Check like 95. Uh, we've rejected prices this morning above 75. We're currently at 48. Last rotate up was 62. 75, so 65, 75, so 1. 90 to the buck, sell 2. On the buy side, um, 25 to 35 by 1. And then 113 even by two. Looking at crude, crude's above 50 bucks. Life is good. Um, on this next break, they say when supply interruptions are fixed in Libya and Nigeria, uh, that the next break in oil is coming. It's going to take prices in the 30s. I think the low is in just by the way the market has uh, is reacting, and from my experience with crude oil. And if the 35-38 area holds, um, it's, uh, the worst should be behind us. So that 50-60 area was a nice break in the, um, in the volume. We haven't been up here in um, a while, so we look at F1. And you can see that 50-50 area is a low break in the market. Uh, if we get through that, the 52-30, 50, say 53. So 52-50-53 would be the next resistance area uh, if we get, we head above that. So 50-50 looks like it's a reasonable resistance. Nothing's changed in the news. Um, so 50-50, 50-75, sell one. Obviously, the market is trading up. Sell two. London's low was 63, so 49.50, 49.75 by one. That's pretty aggressive. Then 49 even, 49 and a quarter by two. And we need to extend the period, the A period.
Okay, looking at the E-mini on the 30-year, this high volume number at 90 <coughs> takes us up to, uh, they rolled off the 35-plus uh, area. Don't get a lot of help from that if we look at the bar chart. No, it's right there it is. Got this high at uh, 22. It's high at 26. We've got this little area right in here at 06, 08, 09. Uh, so 15 is a round number. So 20 to 22, then uh, 25, 26, then it generally jumps to 30, 35 uh, is where the market is headed. So can we trade it higher? And we've got uh, a pretty clean break in the market in the 10, 12 area right here where London extended. So we've got the London low at 10. We have the extension of the Asian session at uh, 1150. So 2110, give or take, is uh, the first little band of support. Then 2105, 2107. This market has made us pay up to get in. The easiest trade to see is going to be failure to take out 15 to 17. And in a rallying market, uh, that's where you, well, great, we're making new trades, new highs, and you want to get short, Charlie? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the easiest trade to see is failure to extend the overnight session range. Sell 2 will be 19 to uh, 24, picking up that chart resistance at 22 to 26. Uh, on the buy side, 11 to 9, buy 1. Uh, 6 to 4, buy 2. Let them get stops beneath the overnight session. So uh, Today's news is inconsequential. Uh, it'll just be the uh, trading dynamics and how bad does the uh, um, <coughs> so 15 to 17 self failure to take that out then 19 to 24 on the buy side, basically 2105, 2110. And then down to the box. As long as we stay above 2100, this market can trade higher. Okay, I got up late this morning. Um, uh, it's going to take a bit to get everything up and posted. I'm going to get busy on that. I will be back with you as soon as possible.